In the lead up to being 30, I went through what is quite clearly a panic. I was unsure of the source of work. I was unsure of whether this was really the kind of thing I should be doing with my life. The days when I was working were good. They were great. They were fun and enjoyable. And every second of those, I was just constantly assured that that was what I wanted to be doing. But I started to not be able to take days off without finding it something that I felt really guilty about, something that I felt I didn't deserve yet, that I should be constantly every day. But then I would sit down and I would work every day, 30 days in a row. And that would be too exhausting for me to really get through instead. So I was back to maybe taking some time off but then getting into the swing of things, slowly but surely, it was going back and forth, back and forth as to the amount of time taken off and the amount of time it would take to get back into the swing of working. And as it was approaching my birthday, I was thinking more along the lines that maybe this isn't the right route for me. Maybe I should be doing anything else. So I stopped and I looked into the different options that I had. The potential of office jobs again, or maybe if I wanted to sit around for a bit and go into retail, perhaps I wanted to go back into the education system for a while and try and learn a new craft, or sit down in an office job and do editing for a company. And as I looked into these options, I started to think about all the years that I've already done things of those, that kind of nature, and how much I enjoy being my own boss. And I started thinking about the rewarding feel of getting those new jobs and putting out a good product after you've spent some time waiting for the next thing to come along looking for the next thing to come along, chasing around, making things. And I realized that one of the things that I'd stopped doing in that time as well was just making things for myself. And how I'd used to get over some of the problems by just having a product that I could put out, something that I'd shot and edited and done just for the sake of completion. Because leaving things incomplete is really not a good thing. And it started to ease my mind. And I looked around and I looked at the different friends that I had about me in a lovely month like May. And the positive words that were coming my way and the various different celebrations of individuals, whether it was at friends' birthdays or farewell dues or whether it was just a surprise party for someone like Hattie who had been missing up in her Liverpool hovel, away from the rest of us in London. And I thought about how many good friends I have and how many different options there really are open to me. The support of a good woman, a great family. And I realised it was too soon to give up. I've spent the time leading into being 30 doing the typical assessments of what I can and can't be. And I just had to remind myself that there isn't really a limit. As long as I'm willing to work hard for it and I'm willing to start early and go till late, as long as I'm willing to fight for what I want, there isn't really a limit to what I can do. And that is very refreshing to know, to remember, to feel, to go through.